Hey, it's Van from Candrone. And this is Nicholas from Candrone. And today we've got the Dock 2, the first uh, unit in North America, and we're super excited to unbox it and show it to you guys. So we'll first start off by unboxing the Dock. I haven't seen the, the first Dock uh, itself, yeah. but I heard it's like way bigger, oh, right? Yeah. yeah, it's about half the size. Half, half the size. Half and as, Half as heavy as well, easier to take around. Yeah. Um, this is something that we can lift with kind of pretty much like two people, right? That's oh, how yeah. heavy it is. Oh yeah, that's not too bad. Probably about 60, 70 pounds or so, I'd yeah. imagine. Yeah. So uh, yeah, let's cut it open. All right, we will take off these straps. Just the top Be lid. very careful. Um, now it's oh, very cool. important to keep a hold of this uh, template here uh, for when you're installing the dock on top of any kind of concrete slab or uh, platform uh you it shows you exactly where you need to drill holes to secure the dock oh that's the, the platform. that's great that it came with that would have just thrown out this lid <laughs> or you know damaged it yeah so, yeah. yeah don't uh don't lose this lid because it does have that template for the installation process so it looks like there's a product certification and some dji stickers um i think this is just some screws and uh, screwdriver for the installation, as well as some covers for the cabling. I see. Um, so just when yeah. you're plugging it in, yeah. some extra bits. So nice. Okay. All right. So the side here. Take off this big styrofoam here. Slides out. All right, on. And there it is. Yeah. Okay. So we lift the box out. Oh, nice. Well thought out design. You have to tilt it over. Have to lift this thing out of it or? Yeah, yeah, I think that. Okay. Um, maybe go from like this panels. Oh, this might be a three person job. <laughs> okay, let's put it down for now and then we'll move everything out of the way. Okay, so it's uh, all right. Yeah, just uh, uh, there is something here as well. We got the oh the wind speed gauge. So oh, I see. Um, this is what goes on the top of the dock, and it helps. It's like the weather station thing. Yeah, yeah. Like, there's a little camera forever, on it. Wicked. Uh, light, um, and it tells you how the wind conditions are where the dock is set up. So it's just important. hidden in the compartment in the bottom there. So first impressions. I mean, this is is it plastic or I think it's it's plastic, right? Yeah. Construction around. Feels very very smooth and nice. Yeah. Uh, like like you would expect. <laughs> Looks yeah. a bit like a loot box. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some sort of chest, but I guess kind of is what it is. Yeah, you can use it as a, uh, a coffee table or something. <laughs> but uh, no, uh, first impressions. I mean, yeah. As all DJI products, very polished. Does um, Even. Yeah, we can't see you behind there yet, but uh, looking good so far. Mm. Uh, that's where you plug in the power. Power, uh, okay. And this, this is the LAN in. Um, and then we have to unscrew these, but the screws, okay. main switches are to power it on. Okay. Um, this is the emergency stop switch right here. Yeah, so okay. when you first unbox it, the emergency <laughs> stop will be pressed in, so we do have to take it off. And then, uh, what is this? So this is... Just a foam holder. Oh, this is for the weather station or the uh the Oh yeah, so meter. this is where you would install the wind I see. Speed. Yeah. Uh, so this is like the cable that uh, plugs into the um, wind speed monitor and it also has a camera built into it. It just makes sense that they don't ship it with that uh, attached because yeah. you can probably break it really easily. So process to uh, plug that in is pretty straightforward. There's two screws. Yeah, you just screw those into the wire and then uh, there's probably some screws in that little box we took out earlier. So, is there anything else? Uh, let's... Some status indicator lights. Um, like how they would be on the landing gears of yeah, the, the drones. Yeah. What is this section right here? It looks like some kind of um, placeholder cap for some other accessories in the yeah, future, maybe? Yeah. Uh, let's do a, a rotation around here. So let's take a look. Camera can see. Yeah, nothing on this side here. Big the backside of some some things to it. 
Uh, these are just, I don't know exactly what these are for. I think there's something in the other one. Looks like some uh, other plug areas for yeah. accessories or antennas or something there. Um, so this is obviously a demo unit, so uh, your unit won't have this marking out of there. Yeah, that's the, that's the main dock unit. And then we can go into opening up the, uh, yeah. the drone itself. Why don't we use the dock as the table? Yes, and we'll... why not? Yeah, so this version is uh, made for inspection, uh, potentially public safety applications or security, for example. Uh, because of the the thermal camera that's built into it. All right, not to, I'm not sure what to expect because we've only seen pictures of this. Yeah. Uh, I thought it would be the Mavic 3 TD, but it's actually the Matrice. So I imagine something kind of in between in, in size, right? So I just pointed out to to begin with the box is extremely light. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I can't believe there's a drone in there. Yeah. It, it, well, this is without the battery in it, yeah, but um, I was surprised by the weight of this, uh, the box. More stickers. Gotta love All that. right, so right out of the box, we've got the, the manual, some stickers, a few bits of screws, um, and kind of a product certification for, for the, the drone right here. Uh, so we just take the styrofoam out, make it pretty easy with the little handle on the yeah. styrofoam. It's very nice. We'll set this to the side. Ooh, look at that. Maybe I'll turn it around here so you guys can see it. Not as uh, fancy as some of the other packaging, like the, uh, you know, the hard cases that the, the drones typically come in, because I mean, this is primarily meant to be used yeah. in the dock, right? So it's not really meant to be um, transported on its own uh, all the time. So. Well, uh, we do need to transport it. It does feel very light. Yeah, uh, so I'll let you do the honors. Pull uh, that sucker out of the case there. Wow, and that's it. That's it, hey? That's it. So, um, apart from what else is in the box, we just have some spare blades. But yeah, that's that's about it. It looks like it would fit right inside the dock nicely, that's for sure. Um, but wow. the build of the drone, you know, it's. It, it definitely looks right in between a Matrice 30 and a Mavic 3. All right, so we've got the Matrice 3 TD here, uh, and we're comparing it against the Mavic 3 Enterprise drone. Uh, the first impression is that um, it's slightly bigger than the, Ma uh, the Mavic 3. Um, obviously, the arms do not fold in, so it's a fixed arm, whereas the Mavic 3 Enterprise uh, will fold in and become much more compact. Uh, this Mavic 3 Enterprise does have the uh, RTK module uh, attachment on top of it, but this on the this aircraft uh, it has the RTK module built into it. Um, apart from that, the Matrix does feel slightly heavier uh, than the, the Mavic 3 Enterprise, but in terms of yeah footprint, uh, they're both pretty small and compact. I think this is much more comparable to the Mavic 3 Enterprise than the um, Matrice 30, in my opinion, right. uh, in terms of size. It's a uh, interesting arm design. It looks like yeah. almost like an airplane wing. Is, I don't know if that was on purpose for kind of aerodynamics of right. it. So like efficiency of a forward flight. But uh, yeah, that's pretty uh, unique. And they even have this like kind of, looks like a some kind of winglet. Uh, I guess that's to help with the wind resistance, maybe? Yeah, potentially. Yeah, this is the, the thermal version. I guess it has the wide angle lens and then um, also the zoom too, I believe. Yeah, um, yeah and then so thermal sensor as well. Thermal sensors. Uh, so again, standard kind of 360, almost 360 right, degree right. Uh, vision, um, obstacle avoidance system. Yeah, RTK module built into there. Um, so it looks like there is an accessory port uh, oh, yeah. for the top here. Um, it's like it just come out. Oh yeah. yeah so uh, USB-C uh, for uh, PSDK. PSDK. Uh, yeah. I did read that they t will be offering accessories like spotlights and speakers for it. I'm not too sure. Yeah. yeah, I'm not too sure if it will be able to be used with this dock, uh, but I'd imagine it probably will be because yeah. why would they have that port otherwise, right? Um, does have uh, the strobe, which is great for visibility, especially at nighttime or when you're a little bit further out there. On the bottom here, this looks like an infrared sensor. A little here. bit of sand in there. I hear some <laughs> kind of, uh, I don't know if you can hear that, but 
I don't know if that's <laughs> now that is intentional. Um, okay. I did speak with someone at DJI about that, uh, and it's actually to help with the weight. The uh, weight, the track, okay. Since it's so light, uh, they had to make it a little heavier. Maybe it helps with the wind resistance. Um, I don't know. It's very light airframe, and now, um, it did come with the propellers installed in the box, which I've never seen before from DJI. I don't think. Yeah, so these propellers are not quick release, so they're yeah they're screwed onto they're there, just like the kind of the Mavic, uh, the the DJI Minis there. So, um, yeah, you'll have to unscrew them to replace them if necessary. It's like a little you know Baraka. <laughs> Baraka. <laughs> All right. So yeah, the battery obviously is not included with it, but it is detachable. Right. Uh, I read that it does also have the standard 400 cycles uh, per. For, for, for their entire battery. So, um, yeah, you'll get some good usage out of there. Do the blades have to fold in a certain way, I saw initially or um, something like that? Well, since the system up? is fully automated, um, once it's set up, it does automatically fold the propellers yeah. uh, when you land it. Uh, but when you're first setting it up, you do have to make sure to fold in the propellers. Before. In a certain way, right? Uh, you close up the dock or else the propellers will break off. Um, so one thing to note that these units do have a built-in backup battery. Yep. So how, w without power to this unit, you can't actually open it manually. Yeah. Right. So we had to uh, open up the uh, the switch the, the switch box and, and then uh, turn on the uh, the fuse for the backup battery. And then what what button did you press to get it to uh, open? It's, it's these. Uh, arrows here. Okay, so the so top one is open and the bottom one is closed. Don't yeah. be surprised if you open the box and you're like, where's the power cable? This wasn't meant for somebody to just yeah. plug in, in into their home. Um, it's gonna it's meant for kind of a permanent type of installation. So yeah. I guess it did that so that in case you need to run the cable, you know, a couple hundred feet or something like that, it gives you that flexibility. But yeah, the good thing is that it does come with the uh, adapter for it. So right. I guess you could just get uh, your electrician or something to to wire this up should be pretty straightforward. All right, well, we wanted to give you guys a quick exclusive look at the inside of the dock. Uh, don't do this at home. This is for certified DJI engineers only. These two are both RTK modules. We got the wireless charger here, little drainage system in case it's raining outside. We got the air conditioning, uh, the main power board here, AC-DC, and the backup battery is just under here. Uh, as you can see, DJI made the system very modular. It's easy to take stuff out, put stuff back in. Everything is labeled, so you know exactly which wire goes where, uh, both where it plugs into and on the cable itself. Well, do you want to look at the controller now? I think it's just a yeah, pretty yeah, standard. Yeah, let's uh, take a look at the controller. So it's a RC Pro Enterprise. I th this looks like a just a standard Mavic yeah. 3 Enterprise uh, controller. I'm not sure if there's any uh, difference with it uh, necessarily. Yeah, but, um, it looks exactly the same. And you have to, to get the controller with the dock, right? That, uh, yeah, yeah, the dock doesn't come with the controller. Uh, you have to get the, the controller uh, separately. Right on. Comes with a standard little manual. product information slip. Yeah. And then it comes with a standard USB-A uh, USB-C, which is the cable you need to set up the dock. Okay. Because uh, so the the USB uh, into it for the data link is a USB-A, uh, which is why it's not a USB-C to USB-C. I see. I was going to ask that. Yeah. I was like, don't they all come with USB-C cables? So that so you'll yeah. have to plug in this remote controller into the dock here to yeah exactly to initi initiate it essentially exactly yeah awesome. So yeah, you would put the USB-C in the controller, USB-A in the dock and you're, you're all set there. So we got the controllers here. Uh, this is the Mavic 3 controller uh, that we use for our Mavic 3. Uh, and this is the controller we just opened up that we ordered for the dock. Uh, and yeah, they look exactly the same. But take a look at the model number. Is that the same thing? <laughs> yeah, they have the exact same model number too. Okay, so it's pretty much just your standard uh, Mavic. Yeah, uh, Mavic controller. Mavic 3 Enterprise uh, type controller, it looks like. Well, that's everything. Um, I think it's super cool. I'm super excited to, to get this thing going. 
Uh, Me too. I think this is a much anticipated product here at Candrone and everybody's looking forward to it. Uh, so stay tuned for the next video where we'll uh, power everything up and hopefully do some test flights. Thanks for watching. Thank you.